Hello students, how are you? Hope you all are healthy and safe at your home. I am Shweta Jain representing Shiv Jyoti Educational Group Kota. So today I am here to teach you science chapter 8 reproduction in animals. So all of you open your books chapter 8 page number 66 and get ready with a sharp pencil as we are going to mark internal questions also. Ok children, so let's move to your book now. Ok. So reproduction in animals, all living things have the ability to produce more of their own kinds. The process by which living things produce young ones of their own kinds is called reproduction. And reproduction is important for the continuity of life on earth. So children, reproduction here means producing more organisms of its own kind. Here own kind means a lion give birth to a baby lion, a cow give birth to a baby cow, a cat gives birth to a baby cat means they are producing more organisms which are of similar type. Okay. So here reproduction is important for the continuity of life on earth. Now how reproduction is important to maintain the continuity of life? So children if an organism would not have been capable of producing new organisms then new organisms would not have been formed and with the death of those organisms the life will also come to an end gradually over a period of time. So it is important to maintain the continuity of life. So children, let's do this activity which is given in your book. Before moving further, see, match the animals with their young ones by drawing lines. In your previous classes, lower classes also, you might have studied the names of the baby animals. So here, lion, we will match lion with cub. Then cow, the baby cow is called calf, then hen, baby hen is called chick, then cat, so baby cat is called kitten. So you have to match them through these lines. Okay children? Now animals reproduce by two different ways. Some animals reproduce by laying eggs, some animals reproduce by giving birth to their young ones. So children, there are two ways by which animals reproduce. Now let's see what are these two ways. Animals reproduce by two methods. These two methods are first is by laying eggs. So some of the animals that lay egg are birds, frogs, insects and the second method is by giving birth to babies. And here some of the animals which give birth to baby are lion, cow, goat, deer and human beings also reproduce by giving birth to babies. So these are the two methods. Now we will discuss each of these methods in detail. So now let us come back to your book egg laying animals. Animals like birds, frogs, ants, butterflies, snakes, lizards, crocodiles, mosquitoes, turtles and house flies reproduce by laying eggs. The baby develops inside egg. It needs warm conditions for development. So parent animals either keep eggs in a warm place or they sit on eggs to keep them warm. When the egg matures, the baby hatches out. So children, in this process, the animal lays egg and keeps it warm and after some time the, the baby animal it hatches out of the egg. So here hatching word means, hatching means coming out of the egg by breaking the shell of the egg. So now we will discuss some of the examples. So let us start with birds. 
all birds reproduce by laying eggs many birds build nests to lay eggs they sit on the eggs to keep them warm the habit of animals sitting on their eggs in order to keep them warm is called incubation so children here birds reproduce by laying eggs they build nest to lay the eggs so that their eggs can be protected inside their nest now they used to sit on those eggs to keep them warm now this process through which or the habit through which animals sit on their eggs to keep them warm is called as incubation incubation here means preparing the eggs to hatch out the babies okay it is just the uh, animals are preparing their eggs so that a baby can come out of it okay and how do they do it by keeping it warm so here there is one internal question so children let's write the internal question so question number 1 is what is incubation so you have to write this question above this paragraph here birds is written over the here so above this paragraph you write this question what is incubation and answer to this question is you can mark it here underline it from the habit till incubation so answer is the habit of animals sitting on their eggs in order to keep them warm is called incubation so you this complete answer you have to mark till incubation and write it over here answer 1 okay so now let's move to the topic internal structure of an egg an egg has a thin hard outer shell called egg shell egg shell protects the baby inside it a white jelly like substance called albumin is present inside the egg albumin is rich in proteins within the albumin is a yellow part called the yolk the yolk is rich in fats vitamins and minerals the yolk contains food for the embryo now let us see uh, about the internal structure of an egg so children this is the structure of an egg now it has three parts the outermost part is called as egg shell now here this egg shell is thin hard and protective it protects the baby which is developing inside the egg then second part is this white jelly like part this is called as albumin here albumin is rich in proteins then there is third part which is this yellow part now this yellow part is called as yolk it is present inside the albumin this part is rich in fats vitamins and minerals and because it is rich in fats vitamins and minerals so it nourishes the baby which is developing inside the egg mint means it provides the food to the baby which is developing inside the egg so children this is the complete structure of an egg so now during incubation the embryo inside the egg goes through different stages of development after some days the egg breaks and a chick comes out the chick is not able to fly parent birds take care of it this process is called hatching it grows into an adult the stages of development from an embryo to a mature adult is called the life cycle of an animal so children here life cycle means the various stages of development it is from the embryo to the adult now embryo here means the developing baby okay it is the immature or the developing baby which is growing inside the egg so the stages of development from this immature or developing baby to the adult is called as life cycle so now we will see the life cycle of a hen this is the life cycle of uh, of a hen like hen adult hen it lays egg then egg is broken down egg shell is broken down and chick comes out of it the initially when chicks come out we call it as hatchling then a chick 
complete chick is formed over here and when it this chick grows it forms an adult hen so this is the life cycle of a hen now we will see the life cycle of insects all insects reproduce by laying eggs a butterfly lays eggs on leaves each egg hatches into a caterpillar or larva caterpillar undergoes several changes before becoming an adult it feeds on leaves for food the caterpillar becomes bigger inactive and covers itself this stage is called pupa it is covered by a protective layer called cocoon the cocoon breaks after a week and a beautiful butterfly comes out of it the process of changes from a young form to an adult form is called as metamorphosis here the life cycle of a butterfly has four stages these are egg caterpillar pupa and adult so now let us see the life cycle of butterfly now see children this is an adult butterfly now adult butterfly lays its eggs on the leaves then after few weeks a caterpillar comes out of the egg this is the larva of the butterfly and we call it as caterpillar now this caterpillar it undergoes several changes it goes through different stages of changes then it feeds on the leaves it used to eat lots of leaves and it develops a protective covering outside it which is called as cocoon and at this stage we call it as pupa now this caterpillar has changes into pupa and after several weeks this cocoon breaks and a beautiful butterfly comes out of the pupa so in this way life cycle of butterfly is completed okay so we have seen that there are four different stages in the life cycle of butterfly these are egg caterpillar pupa and adult so children insects like grasshopper and cockroach have three stages in their life cycle now these three stages are uh, adult it lays egg and a larva is formed then larva matures and grow again into an adult so these are the three stages egg then larva and then adult okay now the baby cockroach looks like an adult cockroach but is a smaller in size and does not have wings after molting many times it changes into an adult molting is the process of shedding a skin so here children as we are talking about different insects so here uh, if we talk about cockroach then a baby cockroach it looks like an adult but it is not exactly similar to the adult it undergo some changes like it is a smaller in size it do not have wings now when it develops wings and it becomes bigger in size then it becomes an adult cockroach here after several times shedding of a skin it becomes an adult cockroach and this process of shedding of a skin is called as molting so let us mark one more internal question over here so hold your pencils and write the internal question over this line the last line of this paragraph so you write the question question number 2 what is molting question is what is molting so you mark the answer just below this the process of shedding skin okay children the process of shedding skin we call it as molting now let's move further to the life cycle of a frog now you can see here the life cycle of a frog also shows metamorphosis now one more term is here which is called as metamorphosis so children metamorphosis means change in the form of a young organism to develop into an adult like we have seen in case of butterfly caterpillar has changed its form to form pupa then pupa has uh, undergone through several changes and become a adult butterfly so this is called as metamorphosis similarly metamorphosis also takes place in the life cycle of a frog a frog lays hundreds of eggs in a lake or pond in clusters called spawns so you can see here in the diagram shown here in your books this is the cluster of eggs which is laid by a frog this cluster of eggs is called as a spawn now each egg hatches into a tadpole you can see the next picture this is a tadpole now tadpole here is the larva of a frog 
it the tadpole looks like a small fish it lives in water and breathe through gills now children you all know that the uh, animals that live in water they breathe through gills okay so here tadpole the larva of frog it also lives in water so it also breathes through gills okay then after some time by the process of metamorphosis as i have told you right now that the change in the form of an organism so the meta after metamorphosis it got converted into an adult frog now how the form changes in the tadpole there is a tail and it do not have hands and legs okay but when it forms into an adult frog it develops hands and legs and it loses its tail so this is called as metamorphosis the tadpole feeds and grows into a baby frog which finally becomes an adult frog you can see in the picture here this is a baby frog you can see the tail is reduced in size and hands and legs appeared over here and after some time it loses the tail and it has fully develops hands and legs so this is the life cycle of a frog now we will discuss fish a fish lays thousands of eggs at a time in water baby fish hatch out of eggs but only a few hundred baby fish grow into adult fish because many baby fish are eaten by bigger fish a uh, fish lays thousands of eggs but most of these eggs or and the baby fishes are eaten by the big fishes so only few hundred of baby fish they hatch out of the eggs then we come to reptiles reptiles like lizards turtles snakes and crocodiles lay hard shelled eggs on the ground turtles and crocodiles lay eggs in shallow pits near the river banks many eggs are eaten up by other animals only few eggs get warmed from the heat of the sun and hatch now here what these reptiles do they used to lay their eggs in shallow pits pits here means the small holes these animals they come to the river banks and they dig a small uh, pits or small holes near the river banks in the mud okay and they lay their eggs over there now these eggs they uh, get the warmth from the sun and they hatches out now these animals they do not sit over the egg unlike birds we we have seen that birds they used to sit over the eggs and keep them warm but here these uh, animals with uh, like reptiles they um, lay their eggs in the pits and these eggs get the warmth from the sun and they hatches out okay so now children let us come to our next topic that is animals that give birth to babies animals like cow cat dog elephant giraffe deer zebra hippopotamus and kangaroo reproduce by giving birth to babies the babies feed on mother's milk such animals are called mammals so here children animals which give birth to babies and feed them with their own milk are called as mammals and some of the examples of mammals are you can see here cow cat dog elephant giraffe so many examples are there even human beings are also mammals okay now whales dolphins and seals are also mammals most of the mammals have hair on their body whales and dolphins do not have hair on their body mammals breathe through the lungs so here we have studied two characteristic features of mammals these are first of all they reproduce by giving birth to babies they feed the babies with their own milk and secondly they breathe through the lungs okay because most of the mammals they live on land so they breathe through lungs so let us see some of the mammals which do not live on land these are the sea mammals now see children this is dolphin whale seal these are the mammals which do not live on land these are the mammals which live in sea okay so there is one more internal question on page number 69 so you write it over the last paragraph you write it just above the last paragraph of page number 69 it is question number 3 write two features of mammals question is write two features of mammals so features here are giving birth to babies and breathe through lungs so you have to mark them like this right answer 3 here 
mark point one over here giving birth to babies underline this word with this complete sentence giving birth to babies and second point is here in the last line you underline it from breathe till lungs breathe through lungs this way you have to mark the internal question so children just now we have read that mammals breathe to, through lungs they give birth to babies and feed them with their own milk then the baby develops inside the mother's body for several weeks when a baby is born the mother feeds it with her own milk and looks after it she cleans them and keeps them warm mammals also protect their babies from enemies they also hunt for food now children there are some more examples of mammals like first kangaroo when a baby kangaroo which is called as joy is born it is smaller than your big toe so tiny joy cr crawls to the mother's pouch and develops see children this is a, a kangaroo and this is a baby kangaroo which is called as joy after birth it enters into the pouch present on the mother's body and it grows over there inside this pouch only okay a spiny ant eater and duck built platypus are the mammals that reproduce by laying eggs here these are the two mammals a spiny ant eater and duck built platypus these are the mammals which reproduce by laying eggs till now we have studied that mammals reproduce by giving birth to babies but these two are the exceptions these two are the mammals which do not give birth to babies but they lay eggs okay children so this was all about the explanation part of this chapter i hope you all have understood it well and uh, read the book go through the chapter from your book and we will discuss book work and copy work in our next video so till then have a nice day thank you